So many of you know I make all kinds of fountains for our hummingbirds that live here. We have thousands of them, and they love being entertained with my fountains. This one is from ice cream. You know I make the soda bottles and the turkey basters and the bowls and the buckets, but today we're going to talk about a completely different one, one that you're going to kind of make from scratch from recycled food products, but it's so easy. Look at this. Now, this particular ice cream, I made that one from scratch, but you don't have to do that. You can actually buy a kid's play food ice cream. It's so fun. I'll explain more as we go along, but let me tell you how you were going to do it because you need nothing more than an ice cream container and a Hershey syrup bottle and well, a tube and those solar fountain pumps that you can buy anywhere. I get mine on eBay, but you can get it anywhere online. They're usually between $10 and $20. And boy, do they last for years and are they fun. And if you ever have them blocked up, do check my videos on how to clean them because never throw them away. They rarely break. Look at this hummingbird having a blast. Here is how you put it together. It's going to sound complicated, but it really isn't. And keep in mind, you may be using a different container, so it could be slightly different. I use a soldering iron. I'm going to heat it up as we go. And here I'm making a hole in my Hershey's bottle. This is going to be for the stick. I'm putting a skewer through. You can use any type of stick you've got. And that is going to hold the bottle up in the air. See to the left, you can see the bottle with the spoon wrapped around. You're just going to slide it in and put it there through. And then we're going to have to, I'll show you later, tape it because there's no way we can zip tie it too far down because we need to make sure the water stays in this container. This cute fountain is completely self-contained once you're done. You can lift it and carry it around the yard anywhere you want. Patio, deck, it's adorable. Now what you're going to have to do is you've got the tubing and I do have a link down below you can look at to get the size tubing and it will depend on your pump. You may have to go to a tropical fish store or a place that sells for ponds to get the tubing. It's, and it's really cheap when you can find it. Now I'm making the hole on the cap of the Hershey syrup a little bigger so the tube will slide through. And this is the solar panel you're going to need. Make sure you get the one with the cord. I don't care about all the other attachments, but you definitely need the cord. And that is what I use, a soldering iron all over around here for so many projects. You're just going to make that hole big enough and you'll see to make sure the tubing will slide through. Make sure it's cool before you slide it through. You don't want to melt your tubing. That's it. Okay, so that part is done. So now you've got your hole in your Hershey's bottle just for the stick to kind of keep it up in the air and you'll have your cap. So you're going to slide the tubing through the bottle out the cap and that's where the water is going to slowly dribble down onto your container. Now we are going to have to make another hole. Don't worry, there's no water really in the Hershey's bottle, but we're going to have to make a hole to get the tube through. So the tube, think about it because you may use a different container than the Hershey's bottle. The tube has to slide through the bottle and then go out the cap. You'll see here as I slide it through. It just goes in, slide it all the way through into the bottle and pull it through the top and then you're going to put the cap back and then you're going to put your tubing through. When you go to cut it, always make sure you cut too much because you can always trim later. If you cut too short, then you're going to have to start over. There you go. Now I want it to really hang out. You'll see I'm going to do a little decor on that to make it look more fun. But isn't that simple? This is easy. It just looks like there's a lot. And look at that. You're going to attach it just like that. You're almost done. That's really the whole basis of this water fountain. The tricky part is getting that to stand there without making holes. And that's what I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Now we are going to make a hole closer to the top. Keep it no more than an inch from the top because remember, we're going to fill this with water, but we're making a hole there large enough so we can slip the tubing in. Okay. That clear tubing you see is going to go through that hole but it's still gonna hold quite a few inches of water, about six, eight inches of water, so we're good to go. Because we have to get that tube attached to the pump on the inside of the container. Now the lid, turn it upside down, it makes a smoother hole, and punch as many holes as you can. Too many is better than not enough, because that water is gonna go back into this one gallon ice cream container. That's it, we're really almost done. Now it's a matter of getting that bottle to stay up in the air. Now, if you've got another creative way of doing it, you absolutely do it your way. 
So the bottle is going to be on the top in a minute. See how we're putting the tubing in? It might be too long, but that's okay. We can always cut it. We're going to attach that skewer, that stick, to the handle, we're gonna start that way, of the ice cream container. We're also going to tape it. But before we do that, I had one more thing I wanted to do. I got some non-toxic paint. You can buy it at any craft store, just non-toxic. And now I painted the tubing brown, so it looks like chocolate syrup is coming out. But you could leave it clear if you want. Now, that's it. Now I just use duct tape. I taped the skewer, and you can use any type of stick or wire. And I also made a hole to hold my tubing in place. And you can make holes towards the top of the container, as many as you want, if you want to secure something else. The point is, don't make it towards the bottom because you want it as full as possible, not to the top, but you know, a lot of water in there. Your pump's gonna be on the very bottom. And keep in mind, the pump has to be completely submerged underwater. So I just taped it. And let me tell you something, I made this over two years ago and it's still going strong. I'm gonna show you what it looks like today. And I'm still using this very same one. See how it looks inside? You can see the tubing. And that's it. There's nothing else going on the inside except for your pump. Now you're just going to attach the pump. It's really easy. And then you're ready to put it out. Just put your pump on. Look at that. That piece goes there. It usually has a piece that goes on. And then you would attach the pump. There is one more thing you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make a notch on the ice cream container. Because see the wire? You're going to drop the pump on the inside the pump is made to go and be submerged in water, so don't worry about it. The wire is going to be on the outside, so you can put that solar panel in the sun, and you can sit this unit in the shade. It's got a long cord, but we're going to make a hole on the top so you can snap the lid shut. So with this hot soldering iron, just make a nice notch, oh, about half inch, and don't put the wire on in there until it cools because you'll melt your wire. So just make it about a half inch, and then this whole unit will snap shut. So you can just pick it up and move it. I'll show you in a second what it looks like today, two years later. Now, as I was working, I decided to make another hole on the top, two holes, so I can slip in a zip tie. See that, a cable tie? And that's gonna really hold the skewer or the stick that's holding up the bottle really strong. So I've kind of got a double duty, triple duty going on there. The tape, the zip tie, and then it's also attached to the handle. And there it is and the birds love it. Let me show you real quick what it looks like now. So there it is, same unit I'm still using. There's the bottle, you can see it up close. Look at that, the paint held all these years. The spoon you can make out of polymer clay and bake it per instructions. And then you can use it, you can twist it around. I'll tell you what you do. See how the holes are and how everything is holding? And there's the duct tape for two years. Make a spoon and then twist the handle around a stick bake it in the oven, and then you can put it on your skewer afterwards. Now, I changed the ice cream around. See the ice cream on the top there? That's actually a kid's toy. So if you don't want to make your own, just go buy one, go to the dollar store, and you can buy any type of ice cream you want. And you don't even have to have ice cream on top. You could put a little bowl. You could do anything that you want that's going to work for you. But see how easy it is? Just look around when you get your unit together where you want to maybe put a zip tie here and there. And this thing has been going for over two years. Keep it clean and look how nice it lasts. And that's the inside and there's the pump. Go look at the old video, over two years old and I had it out today and the birds are still bathing in it. They all love it. But that's the ice cream I made from scratch and it did take work. I have a whole video on that, and that's made from hot glue and non-toxic paint. And by the way, hot glue is non-toxic. You can sit this in the garden. It looks so pretty. I tend to leave this mainly on my deck to enjoy, and boy, do I enjoy it. We'll get back to the birds in a minute. See, this is how the ice cream came, but you can even get a dog toy that's ice cream. And it had this Velcro. I guess there was supposed to be two scoops. You can add on scoops, but I don't need the cone. So I took a piece of velcro that is the opposite and you'll see how i put it on and it works so you don't have to make your own ice cream and you'll see what the birds did with it it was unbelievable i had it out and in less than 10 minutes the birds were all over it so here what i did was i have a little paper fastener and i 
didn't want to glue anything because I was lazy. So I took the tape off that holds it so you can stick it on. It's made for fabric. I made a little hole and I pushed in the paper fastener, stuck the Velcro back. You'll see how I put it back together. Stuck it back onto the bottom of the ice cream and I Velcroed it. It's not even really Velcroed on. Well, it is, but it's done in a kind of a odd way, but it works. And now the Velcro is gonna stick back to the ice cream. I was lucky this one had that. You could have glued it with hot glue too, but I thought I might change it up, put my strawberry ice cream with the chocolate syrup I made back on. But for now I'm using this, filled it with water. And when I walked in the house, it, there were birds all over it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna show you that. This has been so fun. So when I put it out this morning, they came right to it. I kind of changed things around. That's why my fountains can last so long. I make a new one, I put it out, then I put a different one out. It's so funny. When I put new ones out, a lot of birds come. This little gal came and look, it's like, oh, what is this? Mint chip ice cream? No. So once you start to understand the hummingbirds that are living around your place and other birds too, you'll be able to give them and offer them all kinds of fun bird baths and they need water. They need water to drink and a lot of these birds have to bathe. They go to hundreds of flowers a day looking for the food that they so need and they do get sticky from that whether it's pollen or nectar. So they've got to keep their feathers clean and they bathe multiple times a day. But then of course you've got the orioles and all the other birds that are going to come and enjoy this and let me tell you it's just a parade of birds all day. So with that have a wonderful day. Feed the birds, water the birds, and don't forget to eat what you grow. This is just too precious. Bye-bye.